guys, Grandpa the Nerd here. Um, you know, I'm from over at the... Uh, got, got a couple shows on B-Movie TV. Got a couple shows over on Rabbit Red Radio Network. Yeah, that's me, Grandpa the Nerd. Now, this is my YouTube channel. This is a channel that I've created that if I get subscribers, cool. If I don't, that's cool too because this is a... This is a uh, foundation for my future relatives. For once I'm dead... <laughs> They can come on here and be like, oh, this is your great-grandpa. Oh, what a loser or what a cool guy. How are they going to see it? I don't know. But today, I, uh, I do a little series on here called My Thoughts. And today, I thought I would take a total change of direction from what I normally do with games and you know uh, movies or whatnot. And I'm going to do an author. That's right, an author. And his name is Jeremy Robinson. Now, before I get into him, let me explain a couple of things. First off... I'm not very good at reading. Maybe it's because I saw a Twilight Zone episode, Obsolete Man, and I know how things are going to work out there. I'm ah, just kidding. But up here in the attic, I got some concentration issues and some other things going on up there. So it's hard for me to read. I'm lucky if I can get through a comic book without drifting off into Neverland. And It's not the point. Point is, I'm not good at reading. Not because I don't want to. I would love to. But we have audiobooks, so that's the good thing. And one day, I was like, you know what? I get the daily, uh, the daily, the, 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 the audible deals of the day. So I got one for this book, and it had a hand on it called The Dark. And I was like, man, I don't know about this. I think it was three ninety five, might have been six ninety five. The cost doesn't matter because it's worth a million bucks. But I was like, eh, you know what? I think I might try it. And this is why I actually got the book. We're, we're going to have to put the praise of Jeremy Robinson off to the side for a second because I didn't know who he was when I bought this book. It had R.C. Bray narrating it. Now I have a book, another audio book about wrestling, The Squared Circle or something it's called. And he narrated it. And I liked his style of narration. So actually my first Jeremy Robinson book is because of R.C. Bray. Not because of Jeremy Robinson. So I said, you know what, I'll buy it. It can't be that bad. And if it is, at least I'll enjoy it through a, a, a great narrator. You know, even a, a great narrator can read, you the, can read you the phone book for you old fogies out there who know what I'm talking about. A phone book, it's this thing that's made out of paper and you can, never mind. Um, but anyway, I uh, got the book. Uh, I was like, he could read me the phone book and I'd be like, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. So I said, well, if, if this Jeremy Robinson guy is no good, at least, you know, it's got to be somewhat decent. So I bought it. Holy smokes. Let me tell you guys. Whoever's watching, future family, I don't know. This guy's a genius. This book, at the moment I heard it, the, just the opening scene, I walked through life the same. I, you got to love it. Skitter! I loved it. So I was like, this is an awesome book. I probably put a picture up somewhere up there. And if I did, you know what to look for. Buy the book, buy the audio book, buy both if you want. Not, not trying to stop you from doing either. But it, the, the Dark is awesome. I'm not even going to tell you what it's about. I'm not going to tell you what any of these books are about because I don't want you to be spoiled. But you can read a synopsis about them to see. But it's a great book. Now, I was unaware of all the what was going on in the Jeremy Robinson universe at the time when I bought the book. But he suggested his Facebook page, uh, the group page. And uh, so I went over there. And that's when I was introduced to these timelines. Timelines, you say? Yes, timelines. Oh, my God. So what did I do? I burned through the rest of my credits. Because I, I do the year shot. Just give, them, give me all 12 at once. I rushed right through them. Used the rest of them. And I bought some extras. Because I needed to get those Nemesis books. So I bought The Dark. Listened to The Dark. Pondered on The Dark. Loved it. Listened to it multiple times for about a week, week and a half. And then I bought Island 731 because I'm like, I'm going to just start here. I know it didn't get published in that order, but I'm going to start there. So I got 731. Loved it. Then I went and bought the rest of them. Boom, boom, boom. Now, there's a timeline. I probably put a picture. I don't know. I'm lazy. I'm forgetful. By the time I edit this, who knows? You'll be surprised. So anyway, there's a timeline for these kaiju books, the Nemesis Saga. Now, I only got the main timeline with the one branch off of 731. Now, I've gone back and got some of his other books, which we'll get to here in a second. But I really enjoyed the Nemesis. Now, it's kaiju, so I can tell you that. It's about kaiju. 
Um, if you don't know what a kaiju is, look it up. But, you know, a kaiju is, I don't know, might be a, a creature, might be a monster. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what kaiju is. So, um, I got these books and they were great. They were great. And then I was like, you know what? This Jeremy Robinson guy is a freaking genius. I've read books in my life. Yes, it might take me a month to read a book, but I still re have read, not, I've listened to other audio books. And I have to say, Jeremy Robinson is a genius. And the moment he stops writing will be the moment I stop getting audio books because there won't be no reason to anymore. I only keep, to be honest, I only keep my Audible subscription for his books. You may say, oh, you're full of, but I'm not full of it. That I'm only his books. I mean, if I had my wife standing here, she'd tell you, yeah, it's all he buys. Jeremy Robinson this, Jeremy Robinson that. Well, yes. So, but I was following the timeline. Now, I'm going to eventually get more of the books from that timeline, but there was a second timeline that the dark was part of. So there you go. Who knew? Everybody but me, obviously. So I've been buying, you know, the infinites and, you know, he just added torment. I'll get to that in a second. But hold your horses. So the dark was part of this other timeline. And I'll put a picture of it up probably. And it's going to end next year. Um, I just pre-ordered Chaos. And uh, it's going to end with Singularity. I forgot the name. I'm old. I'm 50 plus. I don't remember. I forgot the name. Latin Nemesis Saga. I forgot what this one is called. But it's got some great books in it. Uh, you know, and like I said, some of them were already out when I got on board. So the first one I got from this timeline was The Dark. And then I got uh, Exo Hunter. And I was like, oh my God, this is good. You know, and it's introduced me to so many other characters. And then I got his, I guess it was his first book. I'm not an expert. Uh, the Didim, the Didim, the Didiumus thingamajigger, um, where they go back in time and hang out with Jesus. I was like, I was reading the reviews, and there was a lot of people on there being like, oh, I'm on, da, 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 you know, complaining about it. And I was like, well, you know, I'll give it a try because, well, I like Jeremy Robinson. So I got it. I loved it. As a person who's not very religious, I didn't care about the religious aspects. It made for a great story. I didn't, I'm not going to go and, you know, <laughs> picking on Christians or he's picking on, screw that. It's a good book. It's a good story. End of story. Um, but I was really getting into, you know, I was getting into all these timelines. Before you know it, I've got so many books. It's like crazy. And then I come across some more posts later on and there's this chess team thing. I'm like, what's this guy do? Does he write b books at breakfast? Write books at lunch? Write books at dinner? Does he have, you know, on his iron, on his, you know, his porcelain throne, is there a writing table? I'm like, this guy's got more books than, you know, I don't know. I can't even compare. There's just books coming out everywhere he, out of his pores. So I was like, oh, chess team. I haven't started those yet. As of the date that you see down here on the, the old YouTube published by, I haven't read any of the chess team stuff because I'm, buying other stuff and, and scattering myself um yes i'm not reading some of them in order except i'm doing the timeline in order and i you know there's some other stuff you know but like the other night i listened to uh mirror world and it's like well that's from this. so i'm all I, I jump around but it doesn't bother me you think it would be like oh i gotta read them in order but no i can actually you know the main timeline stuff i had to read in order obviously the ones that you know like the nemesis one there's like all these branches and uh, you, I can read those out, but I read the you know I read the whole series from 731 through. And then I'm slowly picking up stragglers, but I've been concentrating over here with the other timeline with Infinite and all that. And then I got to do the chess team. But then he's got this other book coming out that he didn't finish. That that, that looked like he said in the post it looked like a romantic novel. I said what? Well, I said honey, does this look like a romantic novel? I said, she goes yeah, it looks like a pirates. A romance novel with a pirate woman on the cover. I said, well, it says down here it's horror. But he's going to change all that from what I was reading. Um, but he's going to finish that. And then he's got that other series coming out. And he's going to put it together for audio, all three books together. I'm never going to have time to get all his... I'm going to be reading Jeremy Robinson books till the day I die. I mean, he'll be writing books long after I'm gone. But I'm telling you, you know. But what sealed it for me? Now, what sealed it for me was Torment. Um, I went, you know, I was enjoying his books, and I thought, oh, this is a great author. Great author. 
But when I read Torment, that's when I decided, oh, this is a god tier Arthur. This is the kind of guy that when this planet's gone and we're all dead and aliens show up and, and they find all these books and novels, his is going to be what, oh, look at this mythology. You know, it, 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 it Torment made me go crazy in totally different ways. Made me nauseous. Man, all you people out there know what I'm talking about. The little nutrient bar in the church. Ugh, that made me sick. And then the RV. I cried. I was laying in bed, tears in my eyes, over the whole RV scene. Now, some of you are probably like, I wonder what happened. Get the book. Get the audio book. You'll find out what happened. And then you too will be like, holy crap, this guy's got balls. Yes, he does. I haven't seen him, but he's got balls. Because this book tore me up. Had me going left, had me going right, had me going up, had me going down. <sighs> Torment by Jimmy Robinson. I'm definitely going to put a picture of that up here. And it is, he has somehow pulled a George Lucas or a Disney, and he's been able to take this book and put it in the new timeline. Because it was written long before the timeline, I, I'm, I'm thinking. Because it was under the Jeremy Bishop name. But... So he's magically, you know, like they did with Obi-Wan and all that, he's magically took this novel and said it's part of this timeline. But you'll figure it out. You, you, you guys, if you read them all, you're smart, you'll figure it out. It's awesome. Torment is the one. It's the one. It's the one that made me say, okay, this guy's for real. And I don't mean, I'm not trying to say he wasn't for real before. No, like I said, his novels are freaking awesome. But this one was just, I would, if I had read this first, you know, back before it got pulled, before it was reissued, if I had read it first or heard it first, I'd be going to all his, I would have went everywhere he was just, just to get his autograph. He'd, he'd be signing the same book 50 times. I'd be, I'd be hobbling him with a freaking, on a snowstorm, I'd be hobbling him in bed with a sledgehammer. That, that, that's how much I like Jeremy Robinson. Now, I don't want him to get nervous and start calling security guards because I'm just joking. If, if he even sees this. Um, I'm just joking. I'm not, I'm not Kathy Bates crazy. But not that Kathy Bates is crazy, but the character, not her. Just don't want to look like an asshole here. Um, but I would have been in love. That, that book, that, that book. And I'd like to see that in a movie. And I don't know if it could, they could get away with the, like the RV scene in a movie. I don't know. But to me, that, that right there, that right there is awesome. 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 So get Torment. Torment's a great book. I wish I could go on Audible and do a uh, and do a uh, uh, a review, but as you can see by my thought process here, with the concentration and the reading issues, I have a I'm e I'm verbal. I'm a verbal person. I I can't really do a review and do it justice. It would he would he would see my review and go, man, that guy gave me good review, but he he looks like a moron. Get get it out of there. So I don't do written reviews. So this is, but I'm gonna tag this and and you know and hashtag it and stuff on my on the YouTube. So at least you know if you look up Jeremy Robinson on YouTube, maybe it'll pop up. But torment, torment is the book that will seal the deal for you. You get Torment, you listen to it or read it, and you too will be getting Jeremy Robinson books until the end of your days. Because that's how I feel it's going to go. So I got to read the chess team. But I still got to get my hands, go to, over to Comixology and get the Nemesis comics. I'm curious. I'm curious. Visuals. Visuals. I'm curious. But the guy's a genius. And I can't say anything more. And then he uses uh, R.C. Bray. Uh, mainly for his narrator and uh, I can't remember the other guy who did the nemesis ones off the top of my head um, I might print it down here if I can remember um, Jeffrey Jeffrey Kamer Jeffrey came I can't remember Jeffrey something um, he does a good job those nemesis books are great I'm not saying that R.C. Bray is the man there's other people he's a he is a good narrator he's the reason I got into Jamie Robinson but the other guy did a really wonderful job on the ones he did. And they even did one together. Can't remember the name of the book off the top of my head because, like I said, a 50-plus. Got issues. But they did a book together. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it was NPC. 
I think it was maybe NPC. I think that might have been the one. If I'm wrong, someone will say something to me, I'm sure, in the comments or something. But um, NPC, I think, is the one. They did a good, great job together. Um, there's some narrators out there that you're like, ugh, 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 I can't do it. These two guys, great. Um, so, got to do the chess team. Got to read the sporadic ones from the nemesis that are connected, but were, like, branched off. Um, I'm, I'm on, I'm right on time with the other timeline. I just, I've read them all. I'm caught up. I'm just waiting on Chaos, which comes out in October. And then Singularity sometime next year. And then the new ones that come out. And then anything new after that. I don't know. I mean, I haven't read Chess Team. I don't know if he's even done with that. Next thing I know, there's 15 more Chess Team books. So I can't wait too long. I may have to do the double and get 24 credits a year because... Jeremy Robinson, just like I said, he I think he's writing books in the car. Literally. He probably has some kind of technology to let his car drive by itself. And he sits there and writes. He, he's a machine. He's a machine. A book writer prime is his name. Because he's a machine. He, he has to be. He writes so many books, it's ridiculous. So, and he's got a family, I think. And kids, if that's true. Wait till he's all empty nesting and his kids move away. This guy's going to write like 10 books a month. And I'll be there to read them all. I'll tell you that right now. So, with that being said, hey, look. Check out Jeremy Robinson. You can't go wrong with his books. Um, his fan base is great. I love going on the tribe and reading everything. I don't usually post a lot because, you know, I'm a lurker. I'm a lurker. But, uh, yeah, he, he writes great books. So... I can't. I could go on and on for ten days about how great his books are, but uh, I'm gonna end this thing here in a second by saying, check them out. And if you doubt me, or if you're like, well, I don't know, I'm not into any giant kaiju's, whatever those are, because you know what, you know, kaiju's, whatever they are, I don't know. Um, but if you're not into that, uh, check out Torment. I mean, check out Torment. I'm telling you that you can't go wrong. But. Don't read the reviews on his books if he's got a lot of negative ones right there. When, you know, you go down to the reviews, there may be a negative one right away. Be like, oh, forget those. Three stars and up, I say, pay attention to because they're good books. They're good books. And, uh, you know, I, I if he's got horror. He's got, there's, there's comedy, you know. He's even got books that are like, you know, like juvenile, juvenile stuff poopy jokes and you know it it's it's i like to see somebody who's well-rounded you know he's not he's not always serious he can be humorous um he can you know yeah he might put a little dash of religion in there doesn't mean nothing doesn't mean anything don't get your panties in a wad it just it's what he's something he's interested in you do it in his book you see religion in movies all the time no one gets their panties in a wad I mean that going back in time one. I love that one. The Didymus effect or what? That that book is freaking great. It's just, it's just freaking great. So, yeah, Jeremy Robinson. Um, he wrote under some pen names too, but I think yeah, I read on, in the tribe he's got all those back, so he's gonna be you know putting them back out there under the Robinson name, which is like what I was talking about that those three novels for the audio he's gonna put together in one you know that one. So. Um, I, I don't do him any justice because I don't remember the name of the book. But uh, if you pay it, if if you if you follow Jeremy Robinson, if you look up Jerry Robinson Tribe over on Facebook, you know you can you can pay attention. He's got a website. Um, I'll probably put it down there, you know, to let everybody know. Put it in the. But yeah, if you go Jeremy Robinson, he, you know he's got a newsletter. It's great. Keeps you in the loop. So if you end up you know liking him, you know, get in the loop. You know, find out what's going on. Um, I mean, some of his novels, you could have a great debate with somebody over his novels. You know, so, like I said, I don't want to tell you where to start, but if you have any questions on Jeremy Robinson, start with Torment. That's the book to start with. I, I really believe that's the book to start with. That book is just... It, I waited, he announced it was going to be coming, and I waited and waited, and, you know, I heard people grumbling about how, you know, oh, this book was really this, and this, that, and it, you know, oh, this book shook me to my core, and I was like, ah, come on, people, it's a good book, it's, 
the ending's like getting slapped in the face, dunked in water, rolled around on razor blades, and then thrown in a salt barrel. I mean, it's like, that's what it was for me. So check out Jeremy Robinson. Check out Torment. Check out his other books. You won't be disappointed. Eh, maybe not every book's for you. I've just been lucky enough so far. Every book's for me. Like I said, I haven't haven't ventured into the chess, the chess world yet for chess team. I have no idea what it's about. I just got a little little inklings from picking up what people wrote, but I haven't read any yet. I may I may not like them. I may be like, eh, this ain't for me. But I don't know. I I, I maybe I'll do a, a follow up when I do my first chess team. Maybe maybe I don't know. So that being said, thanks for sticking around and uh, enjoy whatever you do in life and uh, have fun. And don't forget, check me out over at B Movie TV, Saturdays with the Music Moment, and then sometimes on Sunday with the Sci Fi Sideshow. And then I got my Living in the Past podcast, and my uh, I do another co- podcast with a partner, uh, uh, Film Junkies, over on Rabbit and Red Radio Network here on YouTube. So check them out. So, uh, with that being said, get Jeremy Robinson's book. Uh, books. Books. Plural. Lost my thought there. Get Jeremy Robinson's books. Thank you, Mr. Jeremy Robinson. You write great books. I'm really grateful for your books. They've entertained me. They put me on an emotional roller coaster. And uh, I, I'm, I will stick with you until the day they put me in the ground. You are my... Uh, my mom was a Stephen King person, and I... Emma Jeremy Robinson person and she could never be told Stephen King could do no wrong well, Mr. Jeremy Robinson you can do no wrong because you're my author I'm a Jeremy Robinson guy I wish I could get a shirt that said I'm a Jeremy Robinson guy maybe you should put some of those on your store I'm a Jeremy Robinson guy people might come up to those people who's Jeremy Robinson oh sit down let me tell you so hey think about it be a cool shirt just saying All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. And if you liked it, subscribe. Give it a like, thumbs up, however you want to do it. But either way, this is mainly for future family members to see. So if you're a stranger that stumbled upon me or what have you, thanks for watching. And see you next time.